What's up? It's your boy Jones Man and tonight with Jones and on Monet Cognac. Yeah. All right. So again, this is another one of those episodes where I already got into the bottle, um, but I got to bring it back to, to spend the time with you guys. I had an opportunity to connect with Dorado Spirits out of North Carolina and just open my mind to some cool things that are here in North Carolina. One of them was Monet Cognac. Uh, this cognac is a VS Cognac. It has a long history. I want to say it was like 1890-something. If I remember, I'll go ahead and put it down. There's, there's a lot of history. So this isn't like a new, a brand new cognac brand that's out there. This is an established cognac brand. Um, it's even got, I like that uh, salamander uh, emblem on the back. And I remember reading something about that's a, a, a symbol for the original owners of the cognac. Um, this is 80% 80, 80 40 proof. I don't have a price point for you right now off the top of my head, but it is very comparable to VS uh, Henny of that sort. Um, let me just tell y'all, I ended up getting into this heavy a couple of nights ago. We had some folks over. Uh, one of them was a cognac guy, cognac guy. So I just, you know, was just letting folks dabble in some different things. And I was like, oh man, I got, I got, and I actually had to take this bottle and put it to the way, to the side so that I could review it later on because they were killing it. They were getting into a, you see, you were getting into a habit. Um, but let, let, let's talk about the cognac. Let's talk about the cognac. So it's a minimum of two years old as a VS. The uh, cognac is aged in Limousin uh, barrels. Limousin is the whiskey company that this umbrella falls under right now. Oh, man, this is very reminiscent of 1738. Slight bit of oak, a nice bouquet, a floral bouquet, and a fruity bouquet. But it's just light and just, I mean, that color is a great feel of, it's not super dark, and I think that that is, well, of course, that comes from how long it's been in the barrel. But I think it's a great illustration of how light it feels on the nose. And let's give it a taste. How light it feels on the palate. Like you get that fruitiness. Like right at the end, right now it feels like I just, a little bit of tobacco, just pulled off on a nice stick. Got that little bit of tobacco taste in my mouth. Rush of sweet fruitiness. Warmth slides down my chest. And like I'm still tasting it. Like it's still swishing around in there, man. Coats the mouth very well. So I just flipped in the price and you're talking 30-ish bucks. Uh, on one website I even saw it at 29, but I think it's 30 something in North Carolina. I mean, this for 32 bucks is so light and fruity. Man, it kind of tastes a little bit like sweet tea. Um, I, I get that from cognac sometimes. If you drink, or if you don't drink cognac regularly, or maybe if you do drink cognac regularly, I think sometimes some cognacs have a, a sweet tea kind of feel. Now, all my cognac drinkers will hate me putting this on an ice cube, but as y'all know, I put everything on an ice cube. Because I like my spirits best chilled. Now, if I could just show you that glass, like, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, how it's still tearing down the size of that glass. Fruit hypes up a whole lot, chills it off. Man, this makes, it's such a pleasurable drink. I feel like I went to this festival. I feel like I had a taste of either the VSOP or the EXO. And I was like, wow, this is pretty phenomenal. And this was off the back of, I had just tried Hennessy's Paradise. I just had a Paradise. And I will tell you right now, 
Paradis is the best cognac that has, have, has ever touched my lips. But you're talking about, you know, a, a hefty price to get that bottle. Now, this is 30 bucks. Um, I think it was either the VSOP or the XO. I'm most definitely trying more Monet products because I, I want to go back to that taste. And it was noticeable. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it was better than Paradise. Paradise was still pretty. <laughs> best cognac I've ever had. But having had such a phenomenal cognac and then drinking something else not too far after it, and whatever that is, still being distinguishably, I can't, I had to say that slow, distinguishably better, not better, but noticeable, it, it that had to mean that that was a high quality cognac. Uh, and I, granted, I'm all right, I'm gonna keep it real. We, I was throwing them back during the festival. So I'm gonna go back to it. Uh, but this was a great way to start back in. All of my guests were like, oh, where can I get this? I should try this. And people are always asking, like for a long time during COVID, you, Henny was gone, Duce was gone, you couldn't get it anywhere. And there weren't any other, or many other, Remy was out there, but there weren't many other cognacs available on the shelf. Once cognac started, or there was cognac, there was tequila, there was rum, everything. Once things started to come back into the stores, new brands started to emerge. And I just haven't dabbled in as many of those as I should have. This is one I definitely slept on. As far as a VS goes, man, that is delicious. Um, as, as far as VS goes, I got to say this is a strong four. I would take this over Henny VS. Any, like Hennessy has that, that, little, that little bite on the end. You get none of that here. It's so mellow and so smooth. This is... Blows the doors off of Henny, Henny VS. So if you're a Henny VS drinker, uh, and unless you just like it, I'm going to suggest you try Monet. Give it a little, give it a little, give you a bottle. Give it a side by side. Let somebody blind it with you. Because sometimes when you get, you get brand blind. Um, but man, this is this is such a better pour to me. Uh, follow me on Facebook. It's, I don't know, what did I say? Four? Yeah, easy four. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the Tiki Talkies. Grab yourself a bottle of Monet. Click them and drink them. And I'll see you next time.